What's going on, y'all? Uh, so as requested, somebody wanted me to do a video on handling muddy vocals in Studio One. Uh, so first, let's talk about muddy vocals. And um, the first to you know know if you have a muddy vocal, uh, we need to understand what a muddy vocal is. So in my opinion, uh, muddy vocals are a or muddy anything really is a a buildup of the low mids, which in my opinion is 180 hertz, 200 hertz, up to say 500 hertz. Um, can even be sometimes up as far as 600, but, um, uh, I've got a vocal here from Juggernaut that I found that's, um, that is muddy. Uh, you can hear a little room residence. Um, with muddy vocals, a lot of times that comes from mic placement and also the room that you're recording in. Um, you know, the, the better your recording environment and the better your, that you take the time to get your mic placement right. Uh, you won't deal with muddy vocals. Uh, also helps to uh, get the artist or the vocalist off the mic a little bit. Um, I'm sure y'all know uh, for me with proximity effect is when you get you know close to the mic. Uh, that getting close to the mic sometimes can cause mud as well as plosives. Uh, so getting the vocalist off the mic a little bit will help. Uh, the good thing if you're recording in a home studio versus a, a commercial studio you have ample time to get this right and uh you know take all the time you need where whereas in a uh you know recording studio uh you won't have that time sometimes you're rushed and you've got to go 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 but in you know your uh, home recording studio environment take the time and, and make sure that it's right um you know one of my rules to tracking vocals is to uh is to you know never hit record until you're ready to hit record to you as an engineer feel that it's ready because this you don't want to to record a vocal and then a day later listen to it and you know tell yourself i wish i would have did this i wish i would have did that uh so you know i never track vocals until i'm 100 percent ready uh but let's get back into this let's i'm gonna play the vocal and, and listen to the the low mids and uh listen to the the low frequency another thing you can look at um, as to know if your vocals are muddy is to listen if the vocal is uneven. Uh, one thing about EQing vocals is you want to want it to sound as natural and even as possible. So in this vocal, you'll hear that the low mids are a lot louder uh, than the rest of the frequencies. Uh, so let's check it out. Told the chicks, let's play a game like my last name was Jigsaw. Getting gone, I'm getting loose, drinking up all the booze. Challenge me to beer pong. All right, I'm going to play that one more time. Told the chicks, let's play a game like my last name was Jigsaw. Getting gone. I'm getting loose, drinking up all the booze. Challenge me to beer pong. Okay, so I've got the uh, Pro EQ out here. So um, just with EQ 101, um, you know, with an EQ, you've got two main controls. you got your boost and your cut, and you got the Q which adjusts the width of the curve, narrow, and you've got wide. So kind of the key to getting muddiness out of a vocal is the right, cutting it by the right amount, and also having the cue at the right amount, because uh, you don't want to cut too much, because if, if you cut too much, um, then the vocal will start to sound thin. So let's get into this. There's really two techniques you can use to removing, um, to removing bad frequencies from a vocal, and um, you may have heard of this one. It's called the, the boost and sweep, uh, which is one that I did uh, for a long time, which is where you, you boost the signal or you boost the EQ. I guess, yeah, you boost the signal. Uh, take your cue and, you know, make it narrow. And then you sweep around and listen for, for bad frequencies. And once you find them, you cut them. Uh, so what I do now is, uh, I guess what I would call a guess in sweep. Um, and the reason I do this is because it, I wanted to, um, help train my ears better to hear, uh, certain frequencies instead of kind of, uh, blindly sweeping around looking for them. So what I do now is I'll guess what, what frequency I think it is that I want to cut and, you know, I'll cut it and I'll go from there and, and move it around, uh, from there as it's cut. And, uh, doing that has helped me to has helped me to uh, pinpoint frequencies um, a lot better than I could um, years ago. So let's, in this vocal, um, 
No, if I play it back here, uh, if you look at the the far left of the frequency here, you'll notice that there's not much here, and that's because it was recorded uh, with the high pass filter. So I'm not going to to put a low cut on this. I'm going to I'm going to listen to it one more time, and I'm going to um, try to figure out where the mud is and see if we can get this vocal to uh, sound a little little um, to give it some more clarity and also have it sound more natural. Told the chicks, let's play a game. Like my last name was Jigsaw. Getting gone. I'm getting loose. Drinking up all the booze. Challenge me to beer pump. Okay, so I'm going to say, I'm going to start at 250. And let's go with a cue of, let's start off with four. And I'm going to start off with just a, I'll start off with 3 dB. Okay, and I'm going to play that back and I'm going to let it loop and uh, see if I can pull out this mud. Told the chicks, let's play a game like my last name was Jigsaw. So I, I immediately know there that that's, that's not it. Uh, I'm going to move it down just a little bit. Let's try two, let's try 200. Told the chicks, let's play a game like my last name was Jigsaw. Okay, I'm going to make this cue wider. Let's go down to maybe, yeah, let's try two and a half. Told the chicks, let's play a game like my last name was Jigsaw. Getting gone. I'm getting loose. Drinking up all the booze. Challenge me. Right there. Okay. I am guess two, make it 250 where I started. Uh, we do have a lower, a lower cue, which is wider, which means we're cutting more. So I'm going to play this back again and see if I can really zero this in. Told the chicks, let's play a game like my last name was Jigsaw. Getting gone. I'm getting loose. Drink. Okay, I'm going to want this a little wider. I'm going to bring it down to two. Told the chicks, let's play a game like my last name was Jigsaw. All right, still hearing some. I'm going to move this. Let's go down to 200 here. Told the chicks, let's play a game like my last name was Jigsaw. Getting gone. I'm getting loose. Drinking up all the booze. Challenge me to beer pong. Okay, I kind of like that. I'm going to actually cut a little bit more. Let's Come down to 4 dB. Told the chicks, let's play a game like my last name was Jigsaw. Getting gone. I'm getting loose. Drinking up all the booze. Challenge me to beer pong. Okay, that's getting there. Um, I think there's another frequency above this that I'm going to want to cut. Uh, but let's let's go back and let's just A, B what we got here. I'm going to play it with the EQ out and then on the loop I'm going to put the EQ in and see what we got. Told the chicks, let's play a game like my last name was Jigsaw. Getting gone. I'm getting loose. Drinking up all the booze. Challenge me to beer pong. Told the chicks, let's play a game like my last name was Jigsaw. Getting gone. I'm getting loose. Drinking up all the booze. Challenge me to beer pong. Okay, so that, that's sounding better to me. There's a still here a uh, little bit that's bothering me. Um... Let's just try making this just a little wider. And since that, since what I'm hearing, I think it's up, I'm going to just move this back up to, you know, it's good there. And now let's, it moved. I think that's about where we were. Okay, let's see what we got. Told the chicks, let's play a game like my last name. Okay, yeah, I don't like that. I'm just go back to 250 here. Told the chicks, let's play a game like my last name was Jigsaw. Getting gone. I'm getting loose. Drinking up all the booze. Challenge me to beer pong. Told the chicks, let's play a game. Okay. Um, I'm pretty happy with that. I'm going to move up here uh, to the mid frequency and see if I can find the other frequency up here that's bothering me. Now, a lot of times when you're when you're cutting mud, and like you say, I'm cutting it at 250, uh, I found that if you double that frequency, uh, that's a good place to start. So let's let's just bring the mid frequency down to 500. And this one, I'm going to make it a narrower Q. Let's go ahead and bring that down a couple dB and see what we got. 
told the chicks, let's play a game like my last name was Jigsaw. Getting gone. I'm getting loose. Drinking up all the booze. Challenged me to beer pong. Told the chicks, let's play a game like my last name was Jigsaw. Getting gone. I'm getting loose. Drinking up all the booze. Challenged me to beer pong. Told the chicks, let's play a game like my last name was Jigsaw. Okay, let's get in there. Let's uh, A, B that and hear what we got. Told the chicks, let's play a game like my last name was Jigsaw. Getting gone. I'm getting loose. Drinking up all the booze. Challenge me to beer pong. Told the chicks, let's play a game like my last name was Jigsaw. Getting gone. I'm getting loose. Drinking up all the booze. Challenge me to beer pong. Okay, I'm happy with that. Uh, as far as the mud, that's as you can hear, that's pulling out a lot of the mud and the, the vocal is starting to sound more natural. Uh, one thing I want to show you with the low shelf on on the Pro EQ is if we move this Q. Let's turn that band on. We can get pretty crazy curve here. So what this is is doing is it's it's dipping and then it's coming up and uh, creating a shelf. So one thing when you're cutting mud, if you cut too much, uh, like I said, the vocal can get thin. Uh, sometimes uh, boosting below where you're cutting uh, can add a little more uh, weight to the vocal, um, possibly. And sometimes it can be bad. I don't know. I have, this is uh, unrehearsed. <laughs> so uh, let's see what happens here. I'm going to add, and don't need much. That's, that's good. It's add a dB and a half. Um, and you can see why I hate this Apple mouse is it the slightest adjustments uh, really makes it go crazy. Okay, let's let's try that. So let's listen to this. We're just adding a, just a little a low frequency bump here um, back into the vocal. Told the chicks, let's play a game like my last name was Jigsaw. Getting gone. I'm getting loose. Drinking up all the booze. Challenge me to beer pong. Okay, I do not like that. I'm going to move move the uh, shelf down just a little bit here told the chicks let's play a game like my last name was Jigsaw getting gone I'm getting loose drinking up all the booze challenge me to beer pong okay so I'm not liking that so I'm just gonna remove that but that is you know try that on your vocals sometime it, it could help if you if you're finding that you're moving mud and it's getting too thin uh, which normally though, if it's getting too thin, just come back up on the gain. Like um, I'm, you know, I'm cutting four dB here. You may want to come up a dB or come up two dB. Um, so now, in EQing this, uh, I'm happy with what I cut uh, from here out. Normally, uh, compress if I need to, and um, you know, also add some in the high frequency if I feel I need to. Uh, normally, with rap vocals, you don't want to add. Um, a lot of high frequency. Sometimes it could use just a touch. Uh, so now that uh, you know we've removed the mud, which can also removing these frequencies will make the high frequency stand out some. So also keep that in mind. If you if you're cutting a lot of low mids or some low mids, um, you're making it more even and also bringing up more of the mid and high frequencies. Uh, as I play the vocal, just pay attention to the, the spectrum medium here and um, you'll see that you know most of the, the vocal power is around this range in the mid range. Told the chicks, let's play a game like my last name was Jigsaw. Getting gone. I'm getting loose. Drinking up all the booze. So you can see most of the vocal is, is here um, where this part on the right, the high frequencies here is, is lower uh, than the mid. So just to see what it would sound like here, now, cause like I said, this is unrehearsed. Uh, we're just gonna add a a shelf here at uh, let's say 10k, just a little bit. We'll just do 2 dB here, and uh, hear what we got. Told the chicks, let's play a game. Let my let my name was Jigsaw. Okay, I don't know what that was. Let's try that again. Told the chicks, let's play a game like my last name was Jigsaw. Getting gone. I'm getting loose. Drinking up all the booze. Challenge me to beer pong. And let's try it back with it out. Told the chicks, let's play a game like my last name was Jigsaw. Getting gone. I'm getting loose. Drinking up all the booze. Challenge me to beer pong. 
Okay, so I'm, I'm happy with that two dB bump in the high end. Uh, but back focusing on mud, uh, just to recap, it you want to first start with getting it right at the source. Uh, you'll hear engineers say that over and over. Uh, you want to get it right as you're recording it. And you know that normally that's where the mud problem is coming in at is, like I said, your mic placement, your room. Um, all of that matters. Even the vocalist matters. Um, and again, you know, if you get a vocal with mud, I say go to that the low mid frequency, you know, the 200 to 500, pull a little out, sweep around and just find where it starts to, to sound natural at. And, uh, from there, you know, just fine tune it. I mean, EQing frequencies can be weird. And, um, I mean, it can kind of have this yin and yang effect where, you know, uh, boosting the low mids can give you warmth but it can also give you mud uh just as well as uh boosting high end can give you brightness but it can also give you sibilance so uh just because uh, boosting something adds a positive effect one time um that's you know that's not going to be the case every time and also before i forget i've got a preset here for muddy vocals that I've uploaded to the PreSonus Exchange. You can go and download this. And, um, you know, this isn't meant to just pop on your vocals and be an instant fix. This is uh, meant as a starting point. And the way I did this is for uh, frequencies that I normally cut when I'm cutting a vocal and boost that I usually make when I'm boosting in a vocal. Uh, so, you know, what I've got here is a, a high pass filter. Uh, I got a, a cut at 250 and um, another cut at 500 uh, boosting uh, 3k here and you know, I've got a uh, 13 and a half K shelf uh, so you know you can um, log into presonus exchange download this uh, check it out you know move these frequencies around um, you know if they don't work immediately you know when you put them on your vocal and uh, you know see if it can help you pull some mud and uh, add some brightness to your vocals all right, I'll catch y'all next time.